Our story takes place in Greek mythology and starts with a genius inventor named Daedalus, a wise and skillful demigod. Basically, one thing leads to another and he gets himself and his son Icarus imprisoned on the island of Crete, thanks to King Minos. The crime? Being too smart for their own good. But does Daedalus sit and sulk? Nope. He decides they're going to pull off the most epic escape plan. No tunnels, no disguises. They're going airborne. Daedalus crafts two sets of wings out of feathers and wax. It's the first recorded attempt at aviation. And honestly, the safety protocols were, well, non-existent. Before they take off, Daedalus lays down the flight plan to Icarus. Keep the altitude in the Goldilocks zone. Not too high to melt the wax with the sun's heat, and not too low to dampen the feathers with sea spray. Basically, he's saying, you need to fly this perfectly on your first try. But here comes the plot twist. Icarus, feeling the wind in his feathers, gets a bit too carried away. The dude starts feeling himself, channeling his inner eagle, and forgets the one job he had. Don't fly too close to the sun. And guess what? The sun comes out, and the wax in Icarus's wings starts melting faster than ice cream in Death Valley. You can probably guess what happens next. Icarus, in a not-so-graceful swan dive, plummets into the sea, giving the term taking a dip a whole new tragic meaning. Meanwhile, Daedalus is left face-palming so hard, wondering where he went wrong in the parenting department. Now, you might think the moral of the story is, listen to your parents, or don't get too cocky. And yeah, those are solid takeaways. But let's dive a bit deeper. This story is ancient technology meets human ambition, with a side of caution about the dangers of overreaching. It's a timeless reminder that sometimes in our pursuit to soar, we need to be aware of our limitations and the consequences of ignoring them. So the next time you're about to push the boundaries, remember Icarus and his wax wings. Keep your feet on the ground, or at least make sure your flying gear is sunproof. Over and out.